WWE2K is crashing out on Kenny Bomb, on Just Brian, on Real Take Wrestling, on Kara Valentine, on you! WWE2K and Pat McAfee and his gang of goons, absolute buffoons, AJ who? We don't care Ooh. about him, but they're crashing out on us right now. Just listen. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got to listen. Okay, why? why? Right. Um, so, yeah, you know, a lot of people are pissed, especially that D Butch, mm -hmm. Connor, of myself, course. AJ are in it, uh, because they want some of these other losers that no one's ever heard of from uh, <laughs> NXT to be in the game. Why, why aren't these guys in the DLC Whoa. pack? Well, it's because no one wants to play with them. That's, <laughs> That's why. That's true. Okay. So, um, you know, at first it was like, man, should I be upset that these people, you know, are, are pissed that we're in the game? No, absolutely not. Uh, fuck them. That's yep. that's kind of where I stand. Mm -hmm. uh, I I'm pretty jacked up that we're in the game. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, and and you know yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, when that when this gets released a week from tomorrow, guess what? We're all gonna be draped in gold, and we're never removing that gold ever. So what you're gonna see, yeah, it's kind of this schmuck anymore. <laughs> Tony Schmidt. Who the hell is a Tony Schmidt? I don't know, man. Most Brian, how do you feel ever. about this? This this these jobbers talking this. At the end of the day, bro, these are, you know, legit football players who were good in college. They made it to the NFL, except no, one. No, no, no. Sorry, there, 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 there's two football players on that entire team. Well, let me be clear. No, isn't, oh, isn't, 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 isn't Darius Butler a football player? Okay, three. Know. So three, and, yeah. And one of them's a punter. Remember, one of them's Pat McAfee, a punter. None of those other people are football players. Don't, 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 don't respect them. All right, but, but, all right, bro, all right. First off, man, listen. Obviously, this was a joke. You know what I'm saying? Not a good joke. I think the community is fuming right now, and it's not helping that WWE Games keeps posting stuff and putting laughing emojis and laughing at the outrage of the community and then deleting the post. Stand on your stuff. You know what I'm saying? You want to put that in there? Stand on it. That's all I'm saying. Y'all want to come in here and make fun of people because you out here scamming people's bread, giving his pack. Pat McAfee don't even look like Pat McAfee in this, bro. What is this? <laughs> what is this, bro? The models are horrible. Last year's model was better. The one that was um, content broken or whatever it was. I mean, bro, I've seen better. You're you know right. what I'm saying? And, it, and, it, and it's disappointing as a player. It's disappointing as a fan. It's disappointing as a content creator. I am supposed to be somebody who influences people to want to buy this game, play the DLC, and I can't even do that, bro. Pat McAfee don't even look like Pat McAfee in this game. At least at least get the details right. I honestly feel like they knew people didn't care, so halfway through the process, they said, all right, we don't care neither. Just like they did and dropped that entrance for AJ Hawk, I think his name is, bro. That's what y'all give us? AJ bro Hawk, got underwear on. on with a t-shirt on, bro. What, what are we doing kidding. here, man? What are we doing, guy, bro? Dude. This is not Please, good. man, because it is not good, bro. Yeah. Awful, it is man. not I, good. I, I'm about I don't to think show, it was but a joke. give us the killer detail. Give it, yeah, Kenny, give us the killer yeah. detail. I don't think that was a joke at all. I think um, these guys saw the reaction to them being put in the game, and the reaction is rightfully so, because for one, these guys, some of them are football players, and we don't know who they are. What is because this, bro? As Western fans, <laughs> bro, please hey, remind the kiddo, please. <laughs> bro got the booty shorts on. I'll remind him like Brian. What do you have on your shirt? Like, what kind of shirt do you have on here? Bro. Yeah, bro that's a nice bro's, do, bro's oh, doing the guy. Oh, my no, God. Bro, that's that's that RVD. You remember RVD used to wear that to the ring? Bro's, do, bro's, doing, the the, bro's doing the Braun Breaker. He has bro's the same like Titan alien. Tron, too. They and he literally did not get a He literally did not get a Tron. They gave him Pat McAfee. All of Pat McAfee's jobbers. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. He got the zesty run going, too. <laughs> My boy, he's Zesty and then Big he's doing, Old. He's doing the Braun Breaker. He's doing the Braun Breaker. And now he's Gunter. Ring in it, I... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> this guy looks like Yo. one of these little... There's like these alien things on Elden Ring. <laughs> a very annoying bad guys. He looks like one of those. Terrible, man. This is disgusting. Like, what are we doing here, man? You know what? And I wouldn't mind, you know, you got these guys in the game. Well, Pat McAfee, at least. I wouldn't mind Pat McAfee being in there. If they had other NXT wrestlers that nobody cares about in the pack <laughs> with him. But you got these jobbers in here, and they got nerve to pop, pop trash talk. Like, what? Yeah, bro. I mean, bro, the Thank reality you for the money, is, bro. Dummy. Thank you for your hard-earned cash, you. sucker. Yep. And majority he, majority of the fan base don't even know who these people are, bro. bro so that's what bothers me, bro. It's like you sitting here talking about, oh, nobody's this, that, and the other, bro. Them NXT wrestlers are way more relevant than you are. Yeah. I'll tell you that nobody's much. Nobody's going to use y'all. 
Nobody, bro. And if they do use you, it's to beat your fucking ass. Excuse my really? language, but I'm just being I'm honest. I ain't crashing out on y'all now. Nah, bro, because no, it's, right. it's, it's, it's annoying, bro, because it's like this DLC, like we was all upset about it. You know what I'm saying? So we knew what was coming, but it's so frustrating that even though the DLC absolutely sucks, it almost looks like 2K put no effort into this DLC. And that's what pisses me off even more, because at the end of the day, Fine, the DLC is whatever, but then this is what y'all giving us. This is why I'm more upset, bro, as a player. Like, it, it, it's not even about the content career. It's not even about none of that, bro. I'm going to make content however I got to make it. It's the simple fact that this DLC, the names were already trash, but now it seems like y'all just literally stopped putting in effort like halfway through the through the creation of the DLC. No, my big problem that's a great is... Part. That's a great point. Hold on, Kenny. I got to get this off my chest real quick before I forget as well. Because, like, I remember even as, like, names that are not that crazy, being Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, they were DLC in 2K22. But, like, they had way better mo looking models in 2K22 when they were DLC. And, like, their models, when they're in the, they were in the game before, like, they were pretty good. Somehow they improved over that. New entrances, new everything. And, like, uh, you know, new moves for Luke Gallows. Like, I was actually impressed. Uh, by that like uh, and 2k22 i think 2k23 also had a pretty decent amount of good dlc 2k24 honestly besides cm punk like i'm not impressed Jay Jay Cargill. Cargill. i mean hopefully Jay. we'll see we'll see but like last year you had doink you know with the fun taunts like it was actually kind of good this year you had post malone with a horrible entrance yeah. zero new moves in his move set i think so like this is not a trend that i'm liking right now like brian says things are regressing and uh, sorry for cutting you off but i had to say it kenny what'd you no, have in you're mind fine, you're fine i was just gonna throw something in there the problem with me isn't even the dlc pack uh the problem with me is 2k saw the outrage like obviously we didn't want to buy this and we had no choice but to buy it because it was included in this pack but they see the outrage and they're laughing in the comment section like ha 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 too bad you don't like it smush it in your face and eat it and then they go repost this on their page see in the ring like we don't care what y'all saying we are rolling with these guys because they're i guess going to get them some money but i mean how are no they getting your money because they are who we don't care about this isn't tv this isn't freaking like this is video games we paid money for this thing this is a season pass you don't get to do that that might potentially even be a lawsuit or something like that like you're getting into this territory right now you're not watching this free on tv nothing like that so i like that's actually ridiculous that's like basically saying <laughs> we're gonna even screw you even more in the future with uh my faction and stuff this is basically what's they're, hey, they're telling me right now. I got to say one more thing, dog. The fact that y'all delayed, Whoa. the fact that y'all delayed this DLC oh, for a football, <laughs> for a freaking football. Just they got to get where, those physics right, it, man. It, it just tells me where y'all head is at, bro. That's, mm. that's exactly what it tells me. It tells me where y'all at. It tells me the room is dark. It tells me y'all got no ears. It tells me everything I need to know about the team at the moment, Brian. That's no disrespect to y'all. Y'all work hard, but this is complete BS, bro. This is trash, bro. The best thing that came out of this pack was the DLC moves. The DLC moves are actually pretty freaking they good. Are. I will go on ahead and say that, bro. I've seen, I've seen the coffin drop, which looks freaking amazing. I've seen the hidden blade that looks amazing as well. Oh, There's a cool. lot of stuff that I've seen, bro. I've seen a flamingo uh, Ooh, driver like or whatever it is, bro. I've seen a lot. So I must give them a shout out for the moves, you know, call the spade a spade, but the DLC sucks. So these yeah. are our new moves that are getting added? Yes. Yeah, with the patch hey, and the DLC. A, price, a lot of these look good. Like, uh, this is basically the entire moveset of Mike Bailey. You also have a coffin drop, but like you have three versions, like a springboard, second rope, top rope, freaking all versions of a coffin drop as well. And yeah, like Brian said, also the hidden blade, which was removed. Now it's being put back. Uh, I guess speaking further on the update that's going to come with this DLC, we did have the patch notes drop. So let me pull them no! up real quick. <laughs> let me pull them up real quick. It's, it's basically nothing, so we're going to go ahead and pass it quickly but just general stability improvements i mean more stability improvements when it comes to online and universe mode address reported concerns of championship stats missing how is that even a problem at this day and age after 20 million years i will never know but yeah the, the, this patch is pretty underwhelming let's let big Om get in there before we get out of here i mean look uh, there's two things number one this is what happens when you let talentless 
jobber ass, bum ass jabronis <laughs> who know nothing about the wrestling business like Ty hey. Schmidt and Boston Connor mm. into the wrestling business, into these video games. Ain't nobody buying this thing for them. Ain't nobody downloading this game for them. Ain't nobody care about them. If it wasn't for Pat McAfee and AJ Hawk All Forehead Edition, there's no way anyone would even know their names. Like, let's be honest about that. Number two, and more importantly, from a business side of things, expect more of this. Like, genuinely. Yeah, the, I, I agree. The reality is, with TKO buying this company, the emphasis is, like, less so than it's ever been on the quality of the content. And I'm not saying that WWE, the content is bad. This is not me trying to get a promo in. But the reality is that their goal right now, and Mark Shapiro, who is uh, really, like, one of the key executives at TKO right now, He's made a point of saying this, like everything from the video games to the content we see on TV, their main objective is to extract as much value from it as possible. And from oh this boy. video game, like I can tell you right now, man, the number one thing on their mind with this is we already know the people are going to buy like all of these um, additions. They're going to buy all of these updates, like all that stuff, no matter what we do. So we can take the quality down a notch, meaning make it for cheaper and sell it for the same price. Like, that's essentially what they want to do. Like, they want to sell you stuff that is of less quality for either the same price or even, I think, over the time, you're going to see the, the price of this go up. So, um, that's just how it is. I expect more of it. And un it's unfortunate because, look, as someone who used to play 2K, like, quite a bit, I, I used to really enjoy the game. I, I really, as you guys have said, I really do not like the direction the game has gone in. I, I think it's like, it's just like more of like, here's more shit we can sell you. I'm sorry for cursing, but like, come on, like, like it, it, here's more up. stuff we can oh, sell you. But hey, I don't know, man. Like, look again, what happens when you let jabroni ass, doo doo in the butt ass people who know nothing about wrestling into your game? But I got a question, y'all, because Big Om hit some good points there. One thing he mentioned was TKO. TKO does business with EA Sports for their UFC games. Do y'all think there's a chance EA says, "Hey, listen"? Uh, we know y'all got WWE now. We want that license. Is there a possibility that they jump over to EA? There's always there a chance. There, there, there was talks at one point, but I heard yeah, that no. they're very happy with 2K at the moment. So, Yeah. So, I mean, there was talks. So, I mean, if those talks did go on, I'm pretty sure EA not being able to get a wrestling game together as quick as WWE would want. Um, could have steered them back to 2K. So EA could be in the background right now building their engine, getting things ready, waiting for that contract to come up, and TKO may just pass it to ARAB. So I don't know. It could happen. 